everybody, Batman here, and welcome back to Life is Strange. That was kind of scary a little bit, and I forgot that happened, so I cut off the slightest amount at the beginning, but we're getting we're getting right back into it. It's nighttime now. But, uh, this game's kind of getting to me. I'm going to have to stop about, in about maybe ten minutes, maybe, because I had to go In the previous episodes something. of Life is Strange. <gasps> Film little pieces of time. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, George. There she is, sorry. I'm so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Uh. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everyone. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? <laughs> Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I, I would know. Anything. I'll believe anything this week. Together. Shorten the timer. That doesn't count to the time. Play short the consequence of that action. Choose wisely. That sounds like funeral music. Kate's alive because of me. So happy. Ooh. I'll talk about it in a second, hold on. Uh, bugs. Life is Strange, Episode 3, Chaos Theory. I'm screwing with time, so time is killing me. It I think she feels like, oh. What is that? Since when do I have that? Kate! I'm having nightmares! I wouldn't blame you, Max. I forgot to water my plant. I just wanted to show you, meet me in front of the campus. Get that ass in gear now. I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Do I have to actually exit? Dude, since when did I get, uh, a, oh, it's a rabbit. That kind of looks like a guinea pig. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Since when did I ha get a bunny? A rabbit. Hey, Bunny. Kate will be back soon. Oh, it's hers. And until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. Oh, God. Now I actually have to pay attention. Poor Lisa. I guess I'm better with people than plants. Yep. I killed Lisa. Pausing it right here. I have to go do something. I just realized something. My control. I got up and left to go look at the pages for the last episode, and my controller went off. So I came back in here after I was done looking at the stuff, turned it on, and with my headphones, it switched the audio recording device. So the audio on the end of the first episode 
end of the last episode and the beginning of this one sucks. So, it's a good thing I didn't get very far. I have a bunny. You should still be able to hear me. It's just... It's just a lot worse. <laughs> Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Black now what? she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Blackwell student attempts uh, suicide. At least I ah. didn't mention my name yet. Blackwell student attempts suicide on campus. Arcadia Bay, Oregon. We're at Oregon. Okay. A student at the prestigious Blackwell Academy almost jumped from the roof of a campus dormitory today with most of the students and faculty had startled witnesses. Witnesses. As started witness. I thought that sounded weird. It sounded weird. Authorities confirmed that the student, Kate Marsh, 18, had been troubled, but in, but in, information is scarce at this time. Dozens of cell, phone reco cell phones recorded the event, which ended with an unidentified student talking Marsh down to safety. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. <laughs> Rachel Amber. Missing since 4 22 2013. Elton Casey. Missing since 11 10 2001. Melissa Lee Grayson. Missing since 3 22 1997. Winston Smith. Missing since 6 08 1984. Why is her picture in black and white? Is she like the type that wants it to contrast? I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Is that Victoria? She was crying. Uh, or is this the church people? I don't know. Whatever. What is this on? This kind of looks like a cool site. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Time is bunk. <laughs> Max Power. Watching you walk down with Kate from that roof was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. You're here, hero, Max. Thank you. You actually made me proud to be at Blackwell. Bravo, Max. Bravo. Arrest una chicadora. What? Wait a second. Dan he said that to me before, didn't he? No, he hasn't. That's when I replayed the first episode. Never mind. Epic. Way to m make the headlines, Max. I replayed a little bit of the first episode. If I don't, if I haven't said that or not. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. I should probably clean no that. No way can I clean that shit up. Oh. Time to get Samuel Da Vinci to repaint. It's kind of on some of my pictures. And use the mirror. Okay, it's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Not really. Let's go. Wait. Let's read her text, text one more time. Oh, I didn't read the... Okay. This is what's... This is what was before. I never read any of this. So we're gonna... You ate breakfast, no emoji. You're running late. Grab a booth at the diner and mom will feed you. Someone... Somebody better. I'll be lucky. Max, the boss with the gun. Marry me. Illegal in Oregon for now. Just wait a couple more years. Just wait a couple more years. Think that. Elope. Sorry about Kate. I hope you're okay. This eclipse freaked me out. Let's find out what's going on. She said all the... Oh, wait. Never mind. Together. Yo, Supermax. How's the Blackwell hero, hero doing? The hero is still shaking my with nerves. And he, I even got Nathan Prescott suspended. You're a boss. No emoji. 
What the? Why does it say that? <laughs> Listen, something weird and scary is going on in Blackwell. It's time for us to put the pieces together. Cool? I have something to show you. This is later on. Meet me in front of the in front in front of campus. Get the off of the mall. Oh. Okay. Let's go. He's his dad is probably gonna text me. And Nathan. Okay, this is Gary Dark. Oh Jesus Christ. Let there be Oh God. Why is it dark? The dorms I've stayed in lights stay on all night. No balls. Of <laughs> Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. So much hypocrite. Grr. Okay, the, one of the doors is open. Let's go to the bathroom. What time? It's 11 o'clock and she's brushing her teeth. <laughs> That's not very good. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I'm not going to blame her. It's I fine. can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never <sighs> seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. Mm. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. <laughs> Where'd she go? Where did she go? I know I can trust you since you were so nice asking about my mom in the hospital, but Victoria will, like, make my life hell if I blab, okay? No doubt. I do hope your mother gets better. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. <laughs> Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Oh, I'm just fine now. I can rewind time without any problems. Hello. Max. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Oh. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. <laughs> and it was like pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Wait a second. Hole to another universe. <laughs> I heard a water splish bloosh. Showers open. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Boop. Shh. I'm not in here. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well start. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. <sighs> I'm just running some little sounds on where Hawk and Isabel are where else someone almost jumped off the roof. I can't believe we saw it live. It was like watching a reality, reality show. I've never seen a campus so quiet. Like everybody's hiding or afraid. Ooh. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. This is cock. Cockfield. Got me 
suspenders. Can you believe it? My dad owns the dorm where she plays with her selfies. My parents have lost them and threatened me with a job in my dad's office. How dumb is he to have me re re repping him? What? <laughs> Mike's Crackfield and Blackwell need to go down. At the end of the world party, it's on. You in? Are you kidding? That is no way can Blackwell suspend you. I knew that Max was trouble the first time I saw her at Mr. Jefferson with that retro camera. Notice that everyone she hangs around gets in trouble. And yes, Forte's Club will be bringing the end of the world to Blackwell no matter what. I'll smash Smith's Smith Smith you later so he can plot in person. Hang in there. That's where she is. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Okay. Loaded with Satan. Sata. Totohama. Search. I'll title this one Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Yep. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. If I had a lot of money, I wouldn't buy expensive clothes. Why make yourself a target? <laughs> Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. Search. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Okay. I'm not gonna. I don't really care for that. Max will remember for me if it's First important. First Rachel and now Kate. This is the end of the Vortex Club. Ba -ba -ba. Somebody's gonna see me coming out of here. That's some cameras. I want to look at this. Whoa! I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. Well, they did say they were rich, so I expected they owned something. What's this? Those boots Shoes. are made for walking runways. Uh, it's, uh, be able to do this in the dark it's not that far yeah I bet she's a little sick too hey Dana how are you doing better than Kate I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide hmm. <laughs> I knew she was depressed but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Kate was serious. Kate was serious. <clears throat> but it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria. Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sharla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep, too, Dana. I'll see you later. What is Dana it? Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. I'm gonna run this way, and then I'm gonna run back. To make it look like I went that way, but I really didn't. <laughs> Don't tell anybody.
Lightning bugs. I'm gonna so run into a security guy. In front of the main hall. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit on this bench. <laughs> I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe hey, it's a squirrel. Well, it doesn't last that long. But I feel kind of invincible now. Yeah. Squirrel, 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 squirrel. You said squirrel. He's jumping. He's a it's squirrel. No. Squirrel. Squirrel. Okay, I look at it, it tells me it's a squirrel. I know what it is. Max? <coughs> Principal Wells. Are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Wait, what's that say? Blackwell almost lost another student. Racial memo. Pay up. Kate Marsh, but just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. Cheers. What? What am I supposed to? I want to. I kind of want to see what happens if he sees me. A smart son of a bitch has me trapped. Dip. Don't. Go. The woods. Go. In the woods. Can't go in the woods. Squirrel. Well, I still have to go through the gate. Like. Broken lamp? Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Why is he waiting over here? Like, is, there's other dorms. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Destroy me. I don't feel like living. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Did he? Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you, you he's drunk her ass maybe save blackwell now don't get cocky going back inside you earned good dreams i will not have them though <clears throat> right. so how do i get past him to meet chloe uh maybe do what you said and, and uh, okay No, stop, stop, stop. He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except me. Max the ninja strikes again. I'm not away yet. He could see me going around the corner. Max. Oh, it's kind of like really creepy.
just splitting the video up so I make sure nothing goes wrong again. Booyah! Uh, uh, <laughs> Get it? Booyah. Like a scary punk ghost. Ha. Huh. More like a scary punk asshole. Funny. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Uh. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. Then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Let's oh yeah, go. and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? No. Chaos Theory. I Did know. Did you say that it was all about Chaos Theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. I know how oh, to right. fix this. Except for your ability to, oh yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? I will say it when I get a free chance to walk around or something. Rachel. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it? Alive? Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. I'm making her feel good. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? What? We're in it to win it, Max. The lights just went out. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. I think. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Ugh. <laughs> I don't feel like this is the time yet, so I'm gonna wait a little bit. Thanks so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully, the oh, rest of the no. class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. Mm. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so mm. it's not like you're playing favorites. Oh, no. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be... <sighs> don't you think? Mm. I'm going to think that you didn't say anything. You might as well choose me. <laughs> Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? No. Sorry if that was a little loud. <laughs> When I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. 
Chaos Theory, if I go back in time and let Chloe die at the very beginning, which I'm pretty sure that's going to be how it ends, how you could fix everything. If you just let what happened, the first thing that was supposed to happen, happen, Chloe, none of it would go started. bad. You know it. Nothing else that went bad would happen. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. <laughs> we could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. Well, I've already used One them before. And our work here is done. Let's go. Uh, look. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down. <laughs> Dear Miss M Michelle Grant, as head of security at Blackwell Academy, it's my job and duty to make sure that all bases have been uncovered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves as does the 15.4% drop in campus crime. I respect your position as a science teacher, but you have unfairly demonized my plan. I could not say that for some reason. My plans for a surveillance system with a cowardly petition. I hope that you will redact this petition and reconsider the human cost of not retrofitting Black Mountain Academy with the latest and safe and private security. I would be fine with the security cameras as long as they didn't put it in the dorms. I'd be fine with one like right next to the door. They entered the dorms out in the roots though. And in the episode right here, because I we've gone a little past the time I wanted to. But if you've liked this episode, hit that like button, subscribe, share, and all those other good goodies in it. And I will see you in the next video of this amazing game. <laughs>